What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Josh Elkin and today I'm, I'm toning it down a little bit. I'm taking it to a place that maybe you're not necessarily used to seeing from me. I'm making a bacon Brussels sprout maple brown sugar balsamic glaze plus cauliflower steak and rosemary garlic butter. Let's get on with the recipe. If you've been a long time viewer, you know me and you know my cooking style, then you definitely know that using vegetables as the main staple for a dish is not necessarily common. But what is common is total deliciousness. And as I say that, I'm actually cutting up some thick cut black pepper bacon. It's gonna be perfect going with these Brussels sprouts and a nice balsamic glaze. Isn't it weird that as a kid, you're told that Brussels sprouts are disgusting and vegetables aren't that good? Why were we told that? Who are we growing up where we think that these things aren't amazing? All they gotta do is be cooked properly. You know, a whole lot of bacon and a whole lot of sweet and tangy balsamic glaze. Now with all that said, both those things are tucked away and cooking and ready to go. And I'm gonna get on starting to make some homemade herb and garlic butter. Now butter is not a hard thing to make. It really isn't. All you gotta do is follow simple, directions by the way recipe link is in the description so check that out and let me know what other butters i should be making the cool thing about butter is not actually making the butter it's thinking who in history decided to separate the water and the fat from the milk whoever that is is genius because that is essentially what butter is and to this bowl of unflavored pretty much just fat aka butter i'm adding those chopped up herbs and minced up garlic with a little bit of salt this is going to be the base of the flavor for the steak okay now back to the bacon and brussels sprouts which are perfectly roasted the bacon perfectly cooked for me you know, on the scale of bacon cookingness, one through six, one being raw, six being super crispy. I fall somewhere in the middle. Okay, now the cauliflower steak. Now the thing is with cauliflower is that you gotta kind of be a little delicate. You wanna cut the ends off and then cut the middle into a thick two inch piece. Don't worry if some of the florets fall off, that's normal. Add our homemade butter to a hot cast iron pan and start frying the cauliflower steaks on both sides. If you want a little added herbaceousness and treat this like a real steak, then you can add a sprig of rosemary in there, more butter, and then just start basting away. When it's golden brown on both sides, it's good to go. Well, here it is, guys. Cauliflower cooked like a steak, made with some homemade rosemary garlic butter. It's amazing. And a fan favorite, bacon Brussels sprouts, but also, a maple brown sugar balsamic reduction. Perfect. Combined with the rosemary and the butter and the garlic, it's just so good. I can't stress this enough. If you want an alternative to something that is also a little bit meaty, but in the vegetarian realm, cooking cauliflower-like steak is something you need to try. Just click the link in the description down below. It's going to take you to recipechampions.com. That's the website that I publish all these recipes at. Remember to like this video, turn on notifications, and hit that sub button. Bye.